Today on Stand Crafted, I'm going to teach you how to make this paper cube. It's a great way to build your craftsmanship skills of attention to detail and patience. The only material you'll need are six perfect squares of paper. Let's get started. Start by folding your square in half longitudinally. Make sure that you're very precise in lining up the corners as precision is going to be the key to success with this project. Now, you probably learned in math class that half of a half is a fourth, so we're going to use the half fold line to fold two quarter fold lines parallel to the half fold line. Now open the paper back up and starting in the bottom right hand corner and make sure that it is always the bottom right hand corner. We've got to do the same thing every time. We're going to make two paper airplane folds. Make sure the first one is slightly off from the quarter fold to give you room to make the second one exactly in the quarter fold. Now fold the quarter fold back towards the half and then rotate the paper 180 degrees so that you can do the exact same fold to the opposite corner. Now fold that quarter fold to the half fold to make a rectangle that is twice as wide as it is tall and then fold the bottom right hand corner all the way to the top, again sort of like a paper airplane fold. This time though we're going to do opposite corners to form a parallelogram. If you've been really precise so far, these two folds should meet at exactly the center of the parallelogram. And what you need to do now is tuck them under the initial airplane folds that we made so that it's self-contained. Now flip the parallelogram over and form a square by taking the sharper angle to the more obtuse angle. Once you've done this to both sides, you're going to have the basic building block, not just for the cube that I'm going to show you in this video, but for an icosahedron that I'll show you in another video in a couple of days. Now go ahead and make five more of these and really pay attention to detail so that the cube comes together as well as possible. Okay, now let's build the cube. To do this, we're going to tuck the acute angle of each of the parallelogram building blocks into what I like to call the pocket that's formed on the square on the back of each of the building blocks. The reason that I like to use three different colors is as you're building this, if you tuck each color into another color, it's going to be the same on both sides of the blocks. For instance, I used white paper, purple paper, and pink paper for this project. So for me, the white paper is always going to get tucked into a purple paper, the purple paper is always going to get tucked into the pink paper, and the pink paper is always going to get tucked into the white paper. Just watch the video. It makes more sense than I do.
and there you have a perfect paper cube. So, what do you do with it? Well, if you watch my other video on making a ring out of a coffee stir stick, why not give that to somebody as a gift this Valentine by tucking it into your newly made paper box. As always, thanks so much for watching these videos and supporting me. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. See you next time.